Hey, it's Jeff, and I just went for a run along the Hudson River here. I'm in New York City for a couple of days. And you know, I'm not the biggest runner. I'm more of a cyclist, but uh, when time is tighter when I'm traveling, then I'll run, um, not terribly quickly, but there's this path here right along the river. And there you can probably see, you know, there's a lot of people running along that. And so it's sort of fun because when I do run at home, uh, I'm running in the woods. You know, I just go out my back door and I live out in the, in the mountains in Colorado. So I got, I'm blessed to have a lot of uh, property right outside my door and I can go for a nice long run. And generally it's very, very rare for me to see anyone at all. And, you know, I love running the trails. I love being out in the woods. I love um, the nature. I love the soft surface of a trail to run on. But it was pretty fun running here because there are so many other people running. And what I found, because I'm a bit of a data geek, I do often time my runs. And I even I'll, t I'll use Strava, although I'll keep all the data private. So don't go looking for me there. But in any case, you know, I'll just time myself just to, to, to see if I'm making progress. And I think it's important for us to all, um, well, I don't know. That's my world is I always want to be getting stronger, faster, better. Um, you know, I have, this, uh, I have this, this belief that I just always get faster. And, um, you know, I'm not getting younger, but so far the data pretty much bears me out. The stuff I do time, um, I tend to get faster. And especially like when I peak, when I train for a peak. But in any case, the thing I noticed here is when I'm running here, I was running faster than when I went run on the trails at home. And I think part of it is, you know, I'm running on pavement. And even though it's a little harder on the joints, it is a little faster for, I think, to run on pavement. But the big thing is, is that I'd be out here and there's all these other people running. And what I notice is when someone passed me, Especially not like not someone who blew by me, like was going a lot faster. But when someone's going just a little bit faster than me, then I just would pick up my pace and I start running behind them. And uh, and then the next person would go by me and I'd pick up my pace just a little bit. And it was great, you know, when someone passed my, you know, barely passed me because then I could just lift my pace a little bit. And that's the way life is. Is like, you know, we. It's great to have people around us that are pushing us. They're, you know, just doing a, like a little bit faster. They're doing a little bit better. They're a little bit stronger because we are social animals and we respond to what we see around us. And it just goes back to you are the average of the, the five people that are around you the most. And it's that way in every area. And as I was out, as I was out here running, it was just so obvious you know, it, it was just such a concrete example. As soon as someone went by me, I was just inspired to go just a little bit faster. And it wasn't so much competition. It was just like, wow, there's someone, they can pace me. They can pull me along. So I think it's a key for us as entrepreneurs to always be looking for those people in our lives that, that are just a little bit further ahead that so we can stand on their shoulders and so that they can pull us forward. And instead of looking at other people who are doing this a little better, they're a little stronger, a little faster, a little more advanced, been in business a little longer, their business is a little better, their list is a little bigger, their followers are a little, they've got more followers, they got more views, whatever. Instead of looking at those people and feeling jealousy or feeling intimidation or feeling I'll never get there, celebrate their wins. Celebrate that they're just a little further ahead and they, they can be a great role model for you. And what I've noticed is the successful people in life are those people that are always looking for those people that are doing just a little bit better and they're looking them at them as role models to lift them higher, not as people that they want to tear down because they're jealous of them. So there's, uh, there's my, uh, my perspective from the Hudson River in New York. I'm Jeff Walker, if you're watching this, well, wherever you're watching this, scroll down, leave a comment. If you think this could be helpful for someone, if you think there's someone that you, you know, you're looking at them and you're like, they, they, I'd, I'd love it if they would stop tearing people down and instead of started looking at people as, as inspirations, um, then go ahead and share it with them and let's go get them this week.